क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स we know that in periodic table basically there are basically 118 elements and out of which basically there are many elements that show isotopes and they have basically isotopes for example like carbon for example chlorine so there are different kind of uh, elements that have isotopes so now in this topic basically we are going to discuss about that what are the different types of uh, isotopes of hydrogen and what are they been called so now let us discuss about that thing <music> so talking about the isotopes of hydrogen so hydrogen has basically three isotopes and those are a hydrogen deuterium and tritium and that is what i am going to discuss about that so let us talk about the first one that is protium which is also known as hydrogen so in this case basically i am talking about uh, the three isotopes and those are the one that i am uh, giving the formula or i am giving the elemental representation for that thing so for protium and for deuterium and for tritium basically protium is nothing but hydrogen and that is what uh, we represent it with that is h11 so this one it represents the number of uh, electron and or we could say that uh, atomic number while this is known as atomic mass number so talk about deuterium so deuterium is basically it is represented by d or else we could write it as that is h1 with an atomic mass number of 2 so or else we could write it as d over here so for talking about that is a tritium so therefore it is the one that has basically uh, an atomic number of 1 but atomic mass number is 3 which is represented by d so this are the isotopes of uh, hydrogen as we know over here that is they have the same atomic number and uh, periodic table in which the elements are basically we know that it is the periodic function belonging to the atomic number so that's the reason that all have uh, only one electron in its outer motion and that's the reason that we could say that they will have same kind of uh, uh, the chemical properties but there are also certain kind of difference that we could uh, evaluate from this thing so for example if i am talking about uh, the number of nucleus that has been in protium so this one that is i have written over here that represents the atomic mass number and atomic mass number is nothing but it is the sum up of uh, the number of uh, proton so let me discuss about this number that i have uh, written over here so they are basically known as atomic mass number and as we know that atomic mass number is nothing but it is the sum up of the total number of protons as well as the total number of neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom so in this case basically as we know that uh, the hydrogen has uh, one proton as well as we could say that uh, it has one electron also so now talking about that is the atomic mass so in this case we see in, in uh, every case that is for protium for deuterium and for tritium the atomic mass is different and we know that atomic number is same over here so if we discuss about the uh, total number of uh, protons uh, and uh, total number of neutrons so in this case it would be different the total number of protons would be for uh, for all the three it would be the same that is it is one but talking about the total number of neutrons that has been present in the nucleus of an atom it would be different for example if i talk about protium so this one it represents the total number of uh, that is proton as well as the neutron that has been present in the nucleus so we know that the total number of proton is one and the total number of neutron would be zero then only it will be the one so therefore i could say that the total number of neutron in case of protium is basically it is found to be zero and let me discuss about the other one that is for deuterium so since the atomic mass number is 2 so therefore it is indicating that uh, it has a total number of uh, proton as one as well as total number of neutron as one so therefore the number of neutron here is one and for tritium it has been found to be that is the total number of neutron is found to be 2 so here they have that is a different atomic mass number so now let me talk about certain other kind of uh, uh, things that could explain that why they are basically different from each other so let me talk about that is uh, uh, the reactivity so somewhere uh, we know that hydrogen is the one that consists of only one uh, electron uh, as well as one proton but talking about uh, the tritium so tritium is the one that consists of uh, one electron one proton and uh, basically two neutrons 
so that has a different reactivity so it has been found that tritium is basically a radioactive material and a radioactive element and that is the reason that it also emits that is beta particles and uh, so that are not being emitted by protium nor even deuterium so therefore tritium is basically different from that of the other two isotopes and uh, moreover it has been found that uh, the half-life of the tritium has been found to be that is 12.33 years so since it is a radioactive element obviously it will have a half-life of uh, that and that is what it has been calculated so this kind of uh, effect that we could uh, see that there is change in the uh, different or there is a change in different kind of properties of the isotope is basically known as isotopic effect and that is what it has been observed over here so talking about the abundance of protein and that is for hydrogen if i would say so it has been found that the abundance of the hydrogen or protein it has been found to be that is 99.98 percent while talking about uh, the deuterium i would write it over here that is 99.98 percent is the abundance talking about the deuterium it has been found to be that is 0.0156 percentage and talking about uh, that as a uh, titanium it has been found to be 10 raised to minus 15 percentage of abundance has been present here there are also different kind of other properties like if i talk about the relative atomic mass so it has been found that uh, the relative atomic mass uh, that is it has been found for protein it is found to be 1.008 for deuterium it is been found to be 2.014 and for tritium it is been found to be 3.016 so there are also different kind of uh, properties like boiling point also so let me discuss about that also for a second so therefore we could understand it in a better way that is for protein it has been found to be 20.39 kelvin for uh, that is deuterium it has been found to be 23.64 kelvin and for uh, tritium it has been found to be 25 kelvin so there are different kind of uh, uh, readings that we have got and this is where i was talking about the isotopes of uh, the hydrogen so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know that what are the different kinds of isotopes of uh, hydrogen and what are they been called and what are the abundance as well as what are the chemical reactivities of uh, uh, those uh, isotopes so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much